Well, I leave it up to this guy where we go to for lunch and we end up at a McDonald's. Okay. Look, look how cultured we are. Good to be back in Bangkok. I love this place. You know, the sounds, the smell, the noise, the chaos of the whole place, the heat. Well, maybe not the heat, <laughs> but it's great to be back. So I am just heading to MBK at the moment. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that I've noticed here in Thailand, just over the last, maybe only over the last week or two. So if you are a regular viewer of this show, you'll know I travel all over the place. I've been traveling basically for two months now. I've been living out of Airbnbs and hotels and it's just like all over the country and I've done so relatively easy with no issues so the last four places that I have stayed at have all required me to have a vaccine certificate to check in um, now I've been traveling as I said I've been traveling for months and I've been traveling to like tons of hotels and never once have I had to show anything before and now it's been the last four in a row so at first I was like oh, okay yeah fair enough second one I was like oh, okay this could be a coincidence and then after the fourth one I actually got rejected on my fourth one because my vaccine certificate was an Australian one and I only have a photo of it on my phone I didn't carry it with me because I have not needed it up until this point and so I only have a copy of it on my phone. They eventually accepted it, but because it's an Australian one and it's different to the certificate they have here, there was just a little bit of confusion at the beginning. Thailand when you get vaccinated you get a little card and it's a laminated paper card that you can carry around with you all the time and it's basically a certificate to say what you had and when you had it. Being from overseas we have different certificates um, and everyone's are all different so the Thai one I've seen it's just a little card like this and people are supposed to carry it on them for any time that they might need it. I am supposed to be at MBK at 12.30 and it is 12.25 and I am late. So I'm going to jump on the BTS I think. So in a way the BTS is kind of an eyesore and it makes like Sukhumvit Road like just like crazy because you're kind of half underground, you're half not. It's super weird, but this view from up here, I love. And the view from the SkyTrain is awesome as well. So I'm late, but the person I'm meeting, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the last two times I met him, I scared the shit out of him. I want to see if I can get him one more time. Oh, you did it again. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, I was looking around here, I was like, I bet he jumps on me. <laughs> How you doing, man? I leave it up to this guy where we go to for lunch and we end up at a McDonald's. Okay. Look, look how cultured we are. No, I'm just kidding. This is from yesterday's video of Dan. So if you haven't seen it, jump over and check that out. There's a reason that we're here. It's not because we're, it's not entirely because we're uncultured fat Westerners. <laughs> but we are. But we are. <laughs> So I do something really weird and I didn't know it was weird. 
until recently. Maybe it's an Australian thing, but I put fries on my burger. Do any of you do that? Do you do that? Oh, bro. No, see, Dan's weird. looking at me like I'm weird. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> I have to try it. It's so good. No, in the UK we have like um, we call it a chip butty, where you put your like your chip shop chips, the fat chips, yeah, yeah in bread, bread yeah. and eat it. That's good. But this, try it, man. New level. It will change you. Oh, try right. it. That's fun. Australian culture, I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with Dan, uh, and I wanted to check with him because he travels quite a lot as well. Uh, have you had these experiences, like where you need a vaccine? To yeah, yeah, I have to. So I booked on a Goda before, and I booked a hotel. And on a Goda, it didn't say anything. I don't know if they do now on, on stuff, but at the time, it didn't say anything. I went on the hotel's Facebook page, and on there, it said you need to be double vaccinated to come to this hotel. Right. Which I haven't been. <laughs> I haven't been double vaccinated, so I had to like rebook another hotel. But also. Uh, the other day I went to the National Park and now to even get into the National Park, the attraction, as you drove in, a guy stopped to uh, wind down the window and he's like, have you been vaccinated or do you have a PCR test uh, to get in? I couldn't even get into the park without showing that. Actually, I have a, you want to see one? Yeah, yeah. I have a PCR test. So you can buy these in like the 7-Eleven here, like two or three hundred bucks or something. And they look just like... They look like this. And it's has, like a pregnancy test. It looks like a pregnancy test. <laughs> you have like the control worked and then if you, uh, if you like positive for COVID. So you've got to show them this, but I, I didn't have this. So we had to show them a picture, but I also didn't have a picture of my one. I do have one. So you can just Google a picture of this and show them and you would get in. But I do really have one. I didn't, I didn't like fake it. Yeah. So uh, for my last Airbnb, when I booked, like I booked everything and it was all fine. And they, the, the owner of the place, they shot me an instant, like a DM and they said, do you have a vaccine certificate? And I was like, I have a photo of one from my Australian certificate. And they're like, cool. And that was it. And I didn't have to actually send it through, but they just wanted to check that I had it. Yeah, you can. Like, I'm not saying do this, but they just want a photo. It's almost that the guys are just doing their job, right? They just have to do it. Yeah. It's like covering themselves. So if you said, here's a photo, uh, here's like a photo of my, they're like, they're not going to say that's not it. I need more proof. They're doing their job, and if, if you lie, that's kind of on you, right? Yeah. So this is not like an official rule or anything, right? Nothing has been said that officially you need a vaccine to do anything here. But there's such a big emphasis on everyone getting vaccinated at the moment. You know, they're doing close to a million a day here for quite some time now. Um, and, you know, they're really pushing towards this 70% or 80% fully vaccinated to get everything back open. So I'm assuming like that's just gonna become much more of a normal thing here and people will ask for it more and more. But that's not to say that you do need to have a vaccine to be able to do anything. I think it's just a step that they're taking at the moment. So when you talk to local business owners here, some people think that maybe places will open up first to vaccinated people. But no one really knows. It's basically all just like speculation and rumors at this point because nothing has officially been announced yet. And for anyone wondering what Bangkok's like, the traffic is back. It's definitely back. It's definitely getting much busier everywhere here. So what does this all mean? I don't know. <laughs> and in reality, no one knows. Until anything's officially announced, no one knows what's actually happening. I just wanted to keep you guys updated with my experience. So, you know, I've four hotels now have all wanted a vaccine certificate from me. So it's good to keep you guys updated. When I, before I came to Thailand, I was always looking to my favorite YouTubers to find out, you know, what's happening from there on the ground. So I think it is good to share my experiences with you so you do know what's happening here. Now I do also have quite a large following from in Thailand, like from other expats living here in Thailand. So if any of you have had similar experiences to this, let me know, leave me a comment below and we can talk about it. You know, it's always good to find out more experiences from other people that are living here. All right, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I've got a fun few days coming up, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Wow. Firstly, his opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion doesn't matter. You're eating your fucking burger upside down. <laughs> I was going to just put food in the box. Is that what you do? <laughs> you eat it upside I down? I just took it out of the box and just went with it. <laughs> this is the messiest burger ever.
pickle sauce. So what, you picked it up like that? And it was in the bottom of this, right? Yeah, and then you flip it over. It was, it, was, it, was, it was the route of least resistance. I didn't have to do any, <laughs> any more like negotiating. It was the fastest route what? to my mouth, man. <laughs> it's burgers upside down. <laughs> what a video.